All right, guys, today I have a simple question and I'm going to kind of make a video on explaining why I carry the amount of knives I carry and how many knives is too many. So I'm definitely curious to what you guys think. Definitely leave your comments in the comment section below about what you think on two things. How many knives are too many for EDC? Like how many is the kind of line that you draw when it comes to like carrying them on the daily? Of course, a collection is going to be a little bit more subjective um, and obviously a little bit larger depending on your opinion. But um, how many do you regularly or honestly carry on your person at one time? And as a second follow-up question, question, do you consider a multi-tool that has a knife, a knife in and of itself? Now, I know technically, legally, from a definition, this would probably be considered a knife to most, like I said, legal definitions because it does have actually two blades on it, but from a personal EDC, do you consider this a knife? Okay, let's talk about how many knives I carry and whether or not I consider multi-tools a knife. So we'll jump into this part first because I think this is gonna be the most straightforward piece. So I do know that of course, and I do use occasionally the knives on my EDC multi-tools, but when it comes down to carrying a multi-tool, I don't really objectively see a multi-tool, especially one that has a set of pliers on it, really as a knife. Now, a Swiss Army knife is a little bit different because it is constructed to be more knife-centric or the knife or I should say yeah the knife ultimately is plays a greater role and especially with um uh, Victorinoxes that are like the rucksack or others that are genuinely like built with a contoured handle those are definitely leaning more towards a true proper knife I think if the knife has like a locking mechanism and the handle is contoured that is definitely more of a knife than a multi-tool but when you look at something like this charge plus that has a set of pliers to it um, certainly there are outliers like the skeleton tool that definitely lends its hand more towards being a knife than a multi-tool but even it still has pliers so ultimately when it comes down to it though um when i'm like putting my edc gear together to like go out the door i really do grab one of these and i don't see it as so much of a knife now i do realize that there are knives on this and if i needed to cut something and i have cut things with these knives in the past and they do come in handy but honestly i see this knife more for its pliers or this multi-tool i should say more for its pliers than i actually do as a knife itself and that's just my opinion personally once again you know i think people may differ but realistically like i said if i look at this as a tool in my roster i'm really looking at this more for its plier uh, use and it's also uh its screwdriver use and that's also why you know occasionally i will run this with bit kits and you know extend its use more for a screwdriver um, than anything else it also i do like the fact that it has a saw because saws are pretty nifty sometimes not always outdoors sometimes if you need to cut through like a two by four if you're doing some like modding or diy stuff and you know you don't have a saw handy this thing has honestly come in clutch as a, in a pinch you know you can saw through a lot of things and i know uh, people like jamie um from Mythbusters has definitely talked about he, he uses a wave actually but it's very similar same tool setup basically as the wave uh, so yeah he has definitely used his a lot for things like DIY and I can definitely relate to that now I will say I do not tend to use the file that much the file kind of as you can see is pretty unused um, you know but uh, ultimately things like the saw the pliers, the screwdrivers, and the scissors are what really does it for me. So this is a true to life for me multi-tool and I don't really consider it as a knife. And in fact, it's always kind of funny whenever I post like pictures, whether it's on YouTube, Instagram, wherever, um, of my like EDC loadout uh, or kind of like pocket dump or pocket check. You know, I kind of throw this out there and people are like, you know, why do you have so many knives? And I'm like, do I have that many knives? And then it's like, you know, I have a fixed blade, a folder, and you know, this multi-tool and people are like, you have three knives. And I'm like, oh, I guess I do have three knives, but I don't really consider that one a knife. And like I said, like even when I'm like taking those pictures, you know, the thought doesn't really cross my mind that like, oh yeah, that's another blade in my EDC roster. So anyways, that's kind of what I think about for multi-tools. Now, as far as blades go, how many blades do I regularly carry? So for me, usually I will say it always prefaces 
or I always preface it with this, and that is that it depends heavily on what I'm doing because my EDC or my daily tasks as a whole vary so much, especially especially more in the summer than in the winter. But uh, you know, I genuinely might go for a six to five mile hike um, or sometimes longer, and I also might like that might be a part of the daily tasks and I might just go on to you know like go get ice cream or go get food after you know so any daily task kind of setup being outdoors and in the wilderness is definitely not uncommon so I think I tend to lean a little bit more knife heavy and this kind of catches some people off guard especially like I said when I post in the Facebooks and uh, different communities and they're like why do you have so many knives or why do you lean towards a fixed blade and a folder and that is like i said partly because i vary between the wilderness and the non-wilderness or urban environments back to back also too it's kind of different in places like places like alaska because realistically here in alaska we're so um we're so close to the wilderness that the wilderness is kind of intertwined. So, you know, our urban environments are not far from our wilderness environments. So anyways, um, like I said, firstly, I do always have a folder and pretty much on the daily, we'll always have a folder of some sort. Now this is my Gavco nurse and uh, I do have a wide plethora of other blades that I EDC, things like my Emerson CQC8 Mini, or Horseman, I should say, and, you know, of course, many others, Strider SNG, just a ton, right? But um, usually I will balance this with a solid and pretty sturdy fixed blade. Now, it's not always a huge fixed blade, and depending on what my applications are, sometimes I'll lean more towards a tactical fixed blade, like this half Ace Blades Extremist Mark I, but also I will lean sometimes more into wilderness blades, like my Pull Force November I or my SE3. I'll lean more into these um, knives that are, you know, urban, tactical but really more realistically wilderness uh, oriented once again that does lean more into what am i doing for that day if i'm doing more of an edc like urban edc i'll tend to lean more towards a tactical knife like the extremist but if i'm doing more wilderness um, or if i anticipate you know once again going on a five six mile hike i'll lean more towards something like my bark river knives bravo one um sometimes the chris reeve knives pacific um the sc6 i've tons of options right um but yeah i will lean more towards a fixed blade and a little bit more stout longer heavier duty not to say that this knife couldn't take abuse this extremist is pretty darn tough but this blade shape is not the best for doing a lot of wilderness tasks so this is definitely more defensive also its thickness isn't the greatest for wilderness tasks not due to durability but more than anything just like when it comes down to batoning it's nice to have a thick spine so that the wood will just split apart um so anyways that is usually how many blades I will carry. So three, if you count the multi-tool, two, if you don't count the multi-tool is usually my go-to. And I usually try to pair a fixed blade with a folder. And honestly, I don't feel like it's genuinely that clustered. Like I think there are better and worse ways to carry multiple knives. Like this guy is very easy to put like on the small of my back, tuck it inside the waistband and, you know, just use this ulti clip to like clip it there. And so it's very easy to have this thing just sitting there um, on the small of the back and, you know, it's in a, its own unique place. And then, you know, run something like my folding knife just in my like right hand side pocket. And so when you have like your folding knife in one spot, your fixed blade in another spot. Um, it's it's kind of handy because then, you know, they're not like competing for space. They're their two, they are in their two own like unique areas. So I feel like honestly, like I said, there's better and worse ways to do multiple knives. And if you had like two knives or like one in each pocket, that might be kind of annoying. Having like two folders might be a little redundant, but I feel like having one fixed blade, one folder and one multi-tool covers a lot of bases and doesn't feel super repetitive because there are things that I would definitely do with a fixed blade that I would not do with a folder. There are definitely things I would do with a multi-tool that I can't do with a folder. There are definitely things that my folder excels at over my fixed blade and my multi-tool, right? Like, especially when it comes down to this multi-tool, like it does have a blade, but this is a very blocky, very like chunky handle. And it's not particularly ergonomic to, you know, like hold this. There's, I mean, you can, and like I said, it's definitely not horrible, but even especially doing something like this, not the easiest or best 
um, kind of thing to do. And so it's definitely not the most ergonomic. And once again, this is a multi-tool that includes a knife. This is not a knife that you know has multiple functions to it so it's definitely the priorities there are definitely different like this is a knife right like this is built to be ergonomically you know um, comfortable to hold in multiple positions you can really choke up on the blade get a good comfortable grip get out on that tip very easily and so like this is obviously built ergonomically around the knife whereas the knife on a multi-tool is built around the tool. And so once again, two fixed blades are a similar case as a knife. They are built around the blade, but as a whole, they are fixed. They're more robust. They're more heavy duty and harder use. So anyways, that's kind of my explanation. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. Like I said, let me know what you think and what your personal EDC setup looks like. As always, God bless and I'm out.